He's eating this yummy fruit. But what is this? The honeybees are stinging him. Hey, the black rat and the white rats are biting the branch he's hanging on to. But what is this old witch doing here? Looks like he has three pets. The cow, the tiger and the pig. Who has these kinds of pets? Why is this elephant trying to uproot the tree? What is this crocodile waiting for? Oh my god! This man has slipped and is now hanging upside down. He may fall any moment right into this crocodile's mouth. Does this sound like a fiction story? No, it's the story of you and me. It's the story of everyone on this planet. Let me help you understand this. The crocodile represents inevitable death. The elephant illustrates our five uncontrolled senses. The pig, tiger and cow portray the mode of ignorance, passion and goodness within us. The old witch characterizes old age and diseases. The white and black rats display day and night. The honey bees depict the three types of miseries we all face in this world. The miseries from within our body and mind, the miseries caused by mediocre people all around us, and the miseries from natural calamities such as earthquakes, volcanoes and floods. The branch he is hanging on to shows our lifespan. The fruit he is eating symbolizes the unregulated momentarily pleasures we all fall for. Overindulgence in sensory pleasures will make us fall fast into the mouth of the crocodile. Lakshmi, do you mean all these external forces are actually controlling our life and destiny? Of course, what I just explained was the blueprint of everyone's life. Everyone's life? Aren't our blueprints created by our own beliefs? Hmm, I'd love to understand this. Our destiny is determined by our actions in the past, present and future. Behind every action, there is a good or a bad decision. Our decisions are often unconsciously biased by our feelings and emotions. Every feeling or an emotion is associated with a thought. Every thought is affected by our beliefs. And our beliefs are shaped by our parents, our religion and the people around us. So, how we think, feel, act and ultimately our life depends on our beliefs and the people we closely associate with. Beliefs can be empowering or limiting in nature. Can I change my blueprint? Yes, Yoga. We can always get the evidence of what we strongly believe. I mean, we subconsciously look for evidence to back up our own perceptions and beliefs. When you first saw the video of the man on the tree, I'm sure that you found the evidence supporting your own perception of the story. In a sense, our beliefs create our sense of reality, shape our values, filter our experiences, affect our thoughts and ultimately design our life's blueprint and destiny. We often feel happy when our life conditions match our blueprint. If they don't match, we must either change our life conditions or change our life's blueprint by changing our beliefs. Okay. Let me explain you this in very detail. Can you explain this in our next blog? We can keep this video short. Alright. Let's publish text blogs on this. If we don't stand for something, we may fall for anything. So, let each one of us firmly stand behind our empowering beliefs and values. Before we conclude, let's see how we can make the best use of the blueprint that Lakshmi just explained. Let the fruit or honey be the pleasure 
in achieving our goal let the branch he is hanging on to be a purposeful life let the miseries represented by the honey bees give us the right philosophy in life let's get wise every day and night represented by those rats the which represents old age but remember age is just a number for those who lead a disciplined life let the goodness represented by cow give us peace in life let the passion within us depicted by the tiger make us resourceful in achieving our goals let the ignorance within us illustrated by the pig give us good sleep let the elephant be the regulated senses and help us control our mind I believe that life is a preparation and death is an examination. If you are prepared well, you won't be scared of the exam. You get promoted to the next level based on our consciousness at the time of death. Yam yam va pisaram bhavam yajantyante kalevaram tam tam me vaiti kaunteya sadha tad bhava bhavitaha